Okay, hello, Andy Sandem. So I am going to just quickly show you how to get a, uh, a player character to move along a spline. So first of all, I'm going to make a lovely folder with my name in it because uh, that makes me happy because then I have, I know where I've put all of my things. So uh, blueprints. So as you can see, this is just the, the basic first person template from uh, UE4 version 4.24. So I think I am making a blueprint. Um, so I'm going to make an actor, and I'm going to make a spline that the the um, player character will move along. So really, the idea is that we can propel ourselves along a spline by pressing a button. So um, if we just go into the viewport and just look uh, at a component which is spline, make sure it isn't spline mesh. Um, so I'm just going to clearly give myself a clear name and convention because there's going to be quite a lot of spliny based things. Uh, so I want to make, uh, this is the path which will become a variable so we can read it but we uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Andy. Uh, okay, so I've just gone top down so that I can just select the first person character and press F so I can relocate. I'm going to drag my spline in so it's a lot easier I have discovered um, by using the top viewport. If you use the perspective viewport, it goes a bit weird, and also goes a bit weird if you delete the end spline point, like I just did there. But um, so you grab hold of the end spline point, that is, and then you just duplicate that, and then you can drag that out. So then um, it will um, auto uh, tween. I can't remember the correct term for. Um, so it's basically creating handles that allow you to adjust the curves on the path. So I'll just make a few to make it interesting and certainly uh, enough so that we can actually see that we are moving along the path. Uh, so back to perspectives, you can see this blind in the game now, um, sitting nicely on top of our uh, level geometry. So we want to edit the blueprint of the first person character now. <clears throat> So this is going to be a case of getting it to move along the spline. So um, I'm just going to leave the, well actually I'm going to get rid of jump and spawn projectile um, a bit pointlessly, but uh, it just prevents it becoming more confusing. Uh, so I'm just having a look what I need and what I don't need. Um, okay. Okay, right, so let's have a look. So, event begin play. So, this is just on the sorry, so we've already got an event begin play in the levels. So this is what happens as soon as the level starts. So, I'm going to need to put a sequence in here, which means that I can just um, on the level start it just fires off uh, in order. That's the one, keep going. Sequence, sequence. I had it. Okay. There we are. Just needed to press enter. Okay, so I need to the that's the activation pin. Always make sure that you've got the activation pin firing. Sometimes uh, blueprints won't work, and I wonder why. And it's because I have not attached the activation pin like an imbecile. Okay, so get all actors with class. So what I'm looking for here is my spline. So what I'll do is um, I will just uh, select my spline. And the spline. So this is coming as, as an array there. We can see by the little blue, um, little blue grid there. So let's get a copy of what is in that array, um, and it's coming in as an array because it's selecting all the actors of class. So, but we do know that a number zero in our array, without getting too complicated, is going to be my spline because I've just put it in the drop-down list. So number zero um, is going to be our spline. So that's exactly what we want. So we get number zero. And then we set it, uh, and this is basically setting our, our spline variable. So the spline has become a, uh, as the spline track has become a variable which we can access, which is hugely important um, for us to actually move the player along this, which we'll find out in a minute. Okay. So just making a variable distance, uh, which needs to be a float. Um, so I'll just drag that in. Hang on a minute. Okay, so. What I'm looking for 
looking for is yes yeah, so I'm just looking for the uh, keyboard events so I just want to when you press a button then we will move along the spline so let's choose uh, F for forward which so it doesn't complicate with W uh, which is the uh, the current mapped key for forward so I just dragged in that variable which is our spline track um, and so what we're going to do is so it recognises this is a spline Hang on. just looking for the spline so I need to make sure that the target is the spline so I've got context sensitive on let me just check. Okay, so set spline track only one. Yeah, so I want to make sure that um, it, it, the target um, is my spline path um, from the variable. So get the distance, which is our other variable. Uh, so we need to find out what the distance is along. Well, I think we need to set the distance along the path. So what we're going to do is get this is a very useful command obviously if I can find it so you know because it's con context sensitive uh, so if I drag out of the spline it gives me the get location at distance along spline which is hugely useful but obviously you need to be careful just change that to world uh, you need to be careful that you are pulling out of the correct um, contextual node otherwise it won't give you the correct options which um, sometimes confuses you okay so uh, when we press F we want to set the distance um, so as soon as we're pressing F it's getting the distance and setting the distance so you know every time we press F it's going to find out what the distance is along this line um, and what we want to do here is we're adding we're adding um, a value to the distance so each time F is pressed it moves uh, it adds uh, 10 to our distance variable and so the next thing we want to do is we want to translate that into the player movement so uh, I th yeah. uh, it should be okay so I basically just put in the sequence here because I want to just check the value of the uh, of my variable to make sure in case I need to adjust it so that's all it's done there it's just converted my variable into a string and it'll print it on the console and the second thing the uh, when we press F will be it'll set the active location which I just skipped past there but um, so yeah we've put in set active location so it's getting the distance setting the distance and then it's uh, getting the location at distance along this blind and then it's setting where the actor is so if all goes according to plan this would work okay so first of all yeah so it hops when I press forward uh, it hops straight onto the um, path the spline so the vibration needs to be fixed but we are hopping along on the spline pressing F thanks